Get ready, here comes the best of Rugged X Africa 2019. We're going back to the dark continent to put the Gunworks skull rifle chambered for the 375 Ruger through its paces. If you like dangerous game hunting and you like lots of shooting, you're gonna love this one, woohoo! Brought to you by Gunworks, the long range experience. Now everyone knows Gunworks makes the number one long range rifles in the world and I love shooting. I actually went to their long range school just to pick up a few pointers, see if they could teach an old dog new tricks. And you know what? Now even I can, and with confidence. So here we go. Let's see how this past season played out in Africa with Gunworks. This rifle comes out of the box, ready to shoot thousand yard shots, no problem. And it's great to know that when I need it, the skull can do it. They're heading to the right. Come, 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 come up to the right. One patient to the right. Now he's looking at us. He's looking straight at us, Alan. Yeah. Slightly quartering. Yeah. Very nice. I just wouldn't stop. Very nice. So he's going up. Wait, come on, turn a little bit. Bastard. Watch, he's still got his head moving around there. Done. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine, sir. What a bull, huh? Look at that. So when we went in there and we were looking at that herd, we thought that these guys were in there because we'd seen these big tracks when they crossed the road. But then it turned out that after all that looking at that big herd and nothing was in there, we saw these guys off to the right in the trees, the five of them together. And that explained where the big tracks came from. And it, you know, we weren't cocked. I think we'd gotten on the wrong ones, but you can see where he's been rubbing it on the trees. And with all this new growth on these trees because of the rain, he's gotten that pitch all over his horns. Here we are, back doing what we do, what we love to do. That's right. What you do. Hunting buffalo in the saloon. Incredible. The numbers are out of this world. Whew. And thanks to the boys at Gunworks, the old 375 skull has come through again. What a rifle, what a combination. We've got the Swift, we've got the Zeiss going on, Gunworks, I mean, just hammered him. Well, thanks a million. Not only do we have the skull along with us on this trip, I also carried the Gunworks Climber, chambered in 7mm Rem Mag along. Of course, that's one of my favorite calibers. Check it out, the saltless swine is back in action. They were in here somewhere. Oh, this tricks you out. Here, 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 here. There they go. 
maybe cool. maybe not unload. What we'll do, we'll just walk back, head back to the truck, and then might find something on the way or something. See if we see them. Yeah, I just whatever. We're just going to keep. Life. We'll just walk this ridge back to the truck. Is that a zebra day? No, today is no zebra day. I have an order for a zebra back at the house. Just so you know. Fantastic pink. Just get on the sticks. It's down. <laughs> Fantastic. Right in his tracks. Pilot, pilot. Pilot, pilot. We'll see. Uh, it's supposed to be between his eyes. It looked good, but then you see how fast that other one took off around him? Behind him. <laughs> he goes, those guys aren't zebra hunting. No, They're no. pig shoot. I'm getting out of here. That Let's was go have sweet. a look. Oh, did you see his tusks? Yeah, it is. Holy crap, the one's got like a curve that comes all the way up around the top. Something gets bigger the closer you get, huh? Here, let's just make sure here. That was a pretty good head shot, though. <laughs> that thing dropped in his tracks. <laughs> How about that, huh? Well done, sir. That was a good shot. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, pig like this. Oh, that's awesome. And look how much is down here still, too. It goes way back in there. Nice. I'll take that shot all day long. You gotta love that Gunworks climber, huh? How about that? It's first safari. We've been whacking and stacking. Just a Beautiful piece of work. Wow. Nicely done. I'm thinking knife handles, maybe. Uh, I love shooting pigs. I don't know what it is, but call me crazy. All right, watch this. Of course, it might be a little bit of overkill using a 375 Ruger on a headshot on a heart of beast. But hey, can they be too dead? Bonnie and I are making a fire. We get the vehicle parked over in the shade, but we're gonna cook us up a little rugged X hartebeest liver. Yummy. Should we give it a try? I'm thinking we're ready. At least on this outside edge, we can always keep cooking the inside of it. Like this. Uh-oh, look at this. Mm-hmm. The best liver I've ever had in my life. Incredible. The reality is that most of the time when we're buff hunting, we get in as close as we can before we ever try a shot. But sometimes you got no choice. And these two bulls were not gonna let us get in there any closer to them. It's quite a long shot. Thank God I got my Gunwork Skull in 375 Ruger. The one next to the tree, yeah. Okay, he's the one on the left, just wait for him to turn. This is a rifle that I feel confident in making a shot like this. On that first shot, I could tell right away the way he humped up and the way his leg was, that that was a good shot. It hit exactly where I was planning, but now we still gotta go follow him up. The one on the right. And Buffalo can be tough. The one on the right. Really tough. It's just kind of too much. We've got blood right here, a pile of it. You can see when he took off, his, his front leg's all screwed up. He's over here. Go.
dangerous game up close and personal is a whole different scenario that requires the utmost confidence in your rifle. Confidence that target acquisition is natural, offhand shooting is enhanced with perfect balance in the rifle, recoil's been reduced so that the rifle is manageable for any shooter, and confidence that the action on your rifle is smooth and dependable, especially if and when things get a little dicey. And that can happen with Cape Buffalo. Jeez Louise. <laughs> How many can he take? Good nap. Fantastic shooting. Thanks. Oh, that first shot was incredible. <laughs> Just see him when he humped up. That whole that whole just wonderful. That I mean, hit it him. nicely, took off up the hill there, carrying the one leg. You hit him like that. He's basically and dead on his feet. That's still good so far. And just on and on, and then hammer him another couple of times. Yeah. What a bow on. Jeez Louise. <laughs> but man, they can just take song. a beating. That's just part of Cape Buffalo hunting. And look at that spread. A great length. Look at the length. A great that is a drop. fantastic buffalo. Very, very nice. And a great first shot, that was far. The problem they were watching us over that valley, now you're trying to get closer. Dylan? Yes, sir. Have I ever told you how much I love my gunwork skull? No. I don't like sort of just enjoy it. I just don't like it. I love it. Matter of fact, if it could cook, I'd marry it. That's how much <laughs> I love this gun. You have the, when you have the opportunity, you have the confidence in the weapon yeah. that it can do the trick. If you do your end of the job, you know, the gun will do the rest, so. That was a long shot. Thanks to all those boys in Cody, Wyoming at the Gunworks, guys. Thank you. Woo! We got a lot of mouths to feed, and every single ounce of the meat gets utilized by us and the staff. One of the iconic species of Africa is, of course, the African elephant. And they're definitely a barometer of how conservation programs are working in the country. You immediately see, when you get into the hunting concessions, how well their sustainable use programs have been working. We're seeing more elephants than we see of anything else. That tells me that the Zimbabweans are taking great care of their wildlife. Get up close. Okay, if it's not a good one, we won't bother. Oh. We decided to go elephant hunting. We were out here looking for buffalo, but all of a sudden we've seen a group of elephants and one of them looks like a real dandy. So it's been a while since we've shot an elephant and I can't wait. It's like one of the most exciting things you can do. Let's go see what happens.
What a setup. Everything was perfect. Just watch out for that gal. She's watching us. And then the wind changed. Those cows have got him covered. Once the elephants got our wind, that was it. Panic set in. The cows took off went one way. But lucky for me, the bull decided the to stop the and stand his ground. Open the sticks. Behind that time left. On the arrow. Just four fingers in front. That back bone of his is clearly visible. These are the ones you want to take. Yep, he's done. He's hanging out with those guys. Not a breeder anymore. Yeah. But it's programs like this. I mean, Zimbabwe has done such a great job, you know, and you guys as professional hunters, of being out here and protecting these herds. There's, we've seen zero poaching while we've been here. Yeah. You know, for a hunting concession to be that well managed, you have the park way over there. I mean, we're a long ways from the park, but if you, by taking one every once in a while, meanwhile, thousands get to live and are protected. How many elephants have we seen today? I mean, it just Hundreds speaks for itself. Yeah. And for the hunting poaching, I mean, we've got to thank National Parks here, our scout that's with us today. Uh, they handle all of that, so it's, and they do a good job at it. Yeah, it's been amazing to see. But it's that kind of, you know, sustainable use conservation that, you know, we're involved in as hunters that pays off and to get to take a tremendous animal like this that not one piece of meat, not one piece of skin, nothing will be wasted nothing goes this to this animal. The bones, they'll take everything here. So, you know, there's a village but the, outside this block that's going to be really happy to <laughs> They're going to be fit very well. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and thank you again to the guys at Gunworks for putting together this skull and Zeiss for this beautiful scope, swift ammunition. It's a combination that's been working great for us. And you can't say enough. I mean, Gunworks is known for their long range shooting, but talk about a dependable, great 375. You know, beautiful you don't gun. think twice about shooting, jacking another one in. The yeah. confidence level that I have in a rifle like this is so high because of their workmanship. Yeah. What a day. Get to our picture. Elephant hunting in Zimbabwe. Yes. <laughs>